Before we get started, if you are a hardcore Daylight fan or just someone who likes this show, make sure you join the Daylight Amino community as we discuss trends, news, and fan arts happening in the franchise. And yes, I recently became an active member on this page too, so what are you waiting for? Go to the link at the description below or just download it on iOS or Android and let's expand the community. Without much said, let's get the reaction started! Hello everyone, welcome to Matter Reaction Time, Daylight Season 3, Episode 5, and yes, we're just two episodes to the Origami arc, and I just can't wait for it already, because, you know, I want, I'll get to see my girl Kurumi, and I get to see Origami being evil, and get to see some of very game-changing moments too, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to Origami arc, just two more episodes, just two more episodes, but of course, we have to finish Volume 9, of course, follow the sequence of volumes. So, last week episode, we start with Volume 9 already, and we get to see the Lolly Natsumi, Although we, before we dive into that, make sure you guys also subscribe to my uh, Discord. Yes, I have a Discord now, and I have a separate Discord too for the day life section because, like, I feel like I would rather discuss day life separately from the, my original Discord server. So yeah, I have a, I, instead of uh, subscribing to my this uh, my main Discord, so go and subscribe to this uh, main uh, uh, the Discord for the day life. So yeah, make sure you guys follow me, and we can discuss a lot of day life stuff, and we can be best of friends because we are, we have. A same interest for daily life. So yeah, that, let's dive into last week's episode. So, as you may know, Natsumi turned everyone except for Shido, well except for the stu the people that was knocked out of course, into uh, the lolly form! Yay! So Shido is a babysitter for those lollies and he's now registered as the FBI culprit. So you know, Shido pretty much having a hard time dealing with the, you know, the kid form of all the spirits and yeah, including his little sister, which I do remember her turning to like a, like a kid. So you can say that Shido having a hard time dealing with them because no kids nowadays. Even they even follow him to school, which even ruined his reputation even more when Origami said, Papa, oh my god. Oh my god, that moment was like a banger for all the fans seeing Origami taking advantage of the moment and making Shido look, uh, feel embarrassed for everyone because he, they think that she already gave birth to Origami, with Origami to, uh, you know, gave birth to her. So yeah, if Shido, if, that, if that's the case, Shido should, should already gave, get married have sex around episode 15 of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, age of 15 or 14, so, wow. Origami really knows her, her shit to, uh, to like embarrass Shido. But you know, after that, Natsumi decided to, you know, turn, uh, turn Toka uh, into, into like a wearing school swimsuit to make him into like a, a stripping pedophile. So you know, she had to retreat for that. And, but you know, even retreating, Natsumi used to bully him. Even, she even went too far by turning him into like some sort of circus, having uh, all the uh, lolly form into a bunny suit and putting him in cage. And this is my playground. Oh my god, if the neighbor sees that, they will call the police and he'll be arrested and he'll be sentenced for life in prison. But you know, uh, Natsumi sort of retreated because she sensed that Ellen's following her and stuff. So they went through a heated battle with the ASDEM and Ellen. Although Natsumi turned Ellen into a kid form, she still wounded Natsumi. And, Nats and Natsumi sort of feel vulnerable to the moment because you know, Ellen is no sit back, even in her like lolly form. So you know, Natsumi w was about to be, you know, get cut and slash and be captured. Toka came in to save her just in time before Ellen makes the final uh, blow. So the whole team came by to like rescue El uh, Natsumi, typical moment where she would come in, be the hero to save spirits. And Natsumi is quite confused because you know, she been bullying Shido for the past three episodes, and Shido for some reason just out of nowhere just rescue her. I mean, it's typical of your her uh, your hero. So yeah, Shido then tried to approach Natsumi because he she wanted to find out why she's been such a rebellious lolly. Yeah, she's in her lolly form. So Shido pretty much got scratched on the face because she he complimented her being cute and stuff, and she's having none of it. Shido got the same scar as his little sister and stuff, and they have a strategy to make. Um, not to be more aware of her own beauty and stuff, so they went gave her some sort of um, um, makeup forever, and so sort of take her to a saloon and stuff, give her a massage and stuff. And although we get to see Shiori again, oh my god, at the moment where Shiro did this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that moment though. Oh, I'm a boy. Oh my god. Oh, right in the dagger is it? Hentai. Oh my god. I mean, it's sort of like a hentai when you just reveal your true gender and stuff. 
So yeah, Natsumi sort of like banging his, her head into the wall because she's trying to run away from seeing her that she's actually cute and in, in her lolly form. Still just doesn't accept the fact that she's beautiful in, in her original form and she still has some self-image problem. So yeah, last week episode, or uh, one quarter of it, just some bit of action with the DEM and then we focus more on like Natsumi realizing her own beauty and stuff. And yes, we how can we not forget that Origami is trying to escape from the AST when they're trying to capture her for doing some self stuff. Although in the end, uh, Ellen like recruited her uh, Origami and that's when the episode finished and yes, that will lead on to like volume 10 which we won't get to see her like sooner or later. So maybe in the last part of episode 7, 6 maybe? So yeah, that's pretty much last week's episode. Shido being criticized, uh, being um, framed for being a lolicon before Natsumi got slashed and everyone returned to normal and yeah, trying to like, make Natsumi realize her own beauty and stuff but takes a while, gonna take a while. And yes, how c and yes, for, uh, here's an important message. I stopped rereading from the point where Origami got recruited into the DM because I feel like that if I just like reread the novel, I just feel like I'm just destroying my love for Joy Day Life because I keep on criticizing it by comparing it to a novel. So after uh, after the when Origami was recruited to the DM, I stopped rereading from that moment because I feel like I just want to judge the anime itself, not compare it to a novel. So yeah, I'm anime only now guys, but although I still remember some of the key moments too, of course. So today's episode, I, I mean, I saw the, like some images for episode um, 5 already. It, it, it involves like quite a few fight, fight scenes, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Like I said, I don't know what's going on, it did, uh, the, the specificity of what's going on in this episode today. So I'm quite looking forward to it because I'm now an anime only. So I'm, I'm with you guys now. Although like novel readers, do comment below where you guys tell me about the moment, any cutoff scenes of course. So yeah, with that said, let's get started. Shall we? Okay, with precision and let's get ready, shall we? <sighs> so let's see what sort of scenes that we get to see in today's episode. I wonder how many scenes we get to see from volume 9 despite the fact that I didn't start rereading it. I don't know, remember much from it. So here we go in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, what's this? Humpty Dumpty? Oh yeah, I forgot. In the last episode, the uh, DEM, the board of directors trying to do something to Tengu City, like dropping something on, on it to like punish Westcourt. That is so twisted though. Oh, we're skipping the opening. Then I guess this is going to be a long episode. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Like she's not really that confident in her like uh, appearance yet. Yeah, she has zero confidence. She would just want to be acknowledged, but it takes time. It takes time. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's her again. <laughs> Look, she's still in her, like, um... Disguise. This uh, in uh, like a dress form or oh, cosplay form. What? Wait, is that? Is that? Um, uh, Natsumi in Katori's disguise form. I think it is. Uh, that is so not Katori though. Yeah. Ha 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 Oh my god, they're soon gonna find out that is not Katori. <laughs> hey. 
What the hell? That is not Katori. Mm hmm. I think she's already out. She's right in front of you. <laughs> oh, hey. Look at she though, man. Hmm? What the hell? She's crying. I thought she was gonna like kick him, punch him or something. Huh? I mean, the candy's not even uh, opened yet, so that's different. <laughs> what? Oh, ho, ho, fate. Yeah, that's too, sk too skipped. Huh? Uh oh! Oh yeah! This moment, this moment, my God! Oh my God! I'm looking forward to it. I remember clearly that uh, Shido gonna be interrogated by Ellen. Oh yes! Now I'm looking forward to this moment though. I thought they're gonna skip out on it. That's why I didn't mention it at the start. Hmm. Oh my god, she's threatening him. She is threatening him. <laughs> oh wow, she's threatening Shido. Uh, just uh, to tell where the witch is to, save the other, to avoid killing the other six, huh? How twisted is Ellen? What? What? That was fast. I thought she would do something. I think she retreated because he needs to stop the satellite thing. I guess it's a big deal when the when the satellite uh, drop dropped decided drops into Tengu City. Uh hey. -huh. Wow, Shido. Let me guess. He's just gonna find ways to stop it. What uh, your typical Shido will, oh, of course, will come find ways to save it. You really think she can hear you out in this me mega city? Wow, Shido. 
Wow, Shido, you really think she can hear you from this mouse area, this big white area? Oh, there, she heard him. Oh, shut the fuck up, Shido. I just hate it when you're persistent like that. Oh my god, this Shido never changes this he. Oh, it is falling down. Oh, I guess the DM is there too. Oh, Kotori in action time! Oh, yes. Kotori action time. Yeah! Yeah, although it's not, she's not in full astral dress form, it's still something though. Although not in full astral dress form. Yeah, Camel! After a long time, we get to see Katori again. Ho ho, look like a strong blast. Oh, mm. I Co typical Kotori blast. What? That was easy. Is there another one? Or is that? Oh my god, how savage. There's a there's a backup one. Oh no, if Kotori goes into her spirit form again, she'll go berserk. Yeah, she'll go berserk. Yeah, if Kotori goes second chance and she'll lose herself again like what happened in season 1, she'll try to avoid that. Have you forgotten about the other spirits, Katori? You really think she's also gonna run away from it? Uh, at least other spirits are now trying to get involved now. Uh, hey! Of course you had to remember that you there's other spirits on board, okay? Do you really think she's just gonna die off just like that? Well, at least he's using sign off again. Uh oh. He already reached his limit already. That was fast. Hey. Right. 
Dude, he just swung, swung uh, Shandar from once, and he get and he's already tired. Wow, how lame. Okay, hey, hey, denying their full form, but <laughs> hey. Is that origami? Yes, it's origami. Oh, uh, hey, look at all the spirits combining their powers just to like defeat the satellite. That's a satellite, for heaven's sake. Mm-hmm. Higher, huh? Yeah, you have the Yamashi to use the wind to push it up to high up in the sky. Hey, hey, look at the hurricane. Huh? What the hell? Oh, wow, wow. He decided to get involved first. Huh? Wow, those did this DM decide to like use the robots to like defend the satellite? Like, how twisted are they? And there's more. Hey! Oh, wow. Hmm? Wow, not to me. Oh, wow, not to me. Oh wow, not to me. Hmm, what the? Oh wait, don't tell me that's not to me. Oh wait, that was not to me. That was not to me. Wait, that how sneaky of her to disguise as a lollipop. Wait, how sneaky of Natsumi to disguise as a lollipop? What the fuck? Oh wow, okay. So turn it into some sort of t teddy bear or something? Huh, what the hell? Whoa. <laughs> hey, oh, what the hell? Did she just use sound out foam? Refi a replica sound out foam just to like blast off those that <sighs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what? What? <laughs> Typical Shido, man. Typical Shido. Oh my god. Come on, Natsumi, just accept the fact that you don't, they've forgotten everything and just left and just like forget about it and just like help you out. How sad, how, how cute though. There's only one episode, by the way, just to let you guys know, there's only one episode. I should be sad alongside Natsumi, but I just don't find it quite sad at all because there's not enough uh, moment building up to it. Guys, I think this is the end of Volume 9 and she's still crying. <laughs> you do not make a girl cry in she though. Wow, look at everyone already accepting or uh, Natsumi as a companion already. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Wait, there's another debris coming down. Hmm? Kiss? Well, you're all kawaii, not to me. As a kid, kid kawaii. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hey! See you with a kiss. Literally, see you with a kiss. Obviously, there's like a, like a post-credit moment in this episode, so I'm going to stay to the end this time. Wow. If I had to put it that way, I think this is the end of Volume 9. Only two episodes. I'm going to whine about this like after the post-credit scene, but let's talk about this episode today. So yeah, not bad. I didn't even get to see some actions. I remember, I remember like three years ago when I read the Volume 9. I remember those specifically that they stopped the satellite, so yeah, we get to see it into to this episode. Although the fight scenes was a bit like rushed, I guess, not well animated. I, uh, although at least I get to see Katori fighting again. Well, she only used a big blast and before, to prevent from getting to her like a berserk form, she had to like stop, do not let it go for a second time because like you guys remember from season one, if, if she used too much of her power, she's gonna lose it. She's gonna like also have can put her life in danger too, and she wants to avoid that. And yeah, she so and avoid going to a berserk mode or or when she in a berserk mode, she get gonna go on a rampage. So that's why she's trying to prevent that by not like go off or out. So he asked the other spirit spirits to help out. And yes, we had Natsumi join the squad now. Okay, let's check it out, shall we? The post credit scene. Yeah, <laughs> of course, man. Gaga, gaga. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Uh, 
I mean, aren't you guys supposed to be aware of that you can you will get naked? Well, although he's in the middle of the city, I admit that. Way three, and this is a proper bomb this time. What? Let me guess. Is origami? Yep, knew it. Gay. It's origami, and she looks like one of those villains from season one again. Okay. Wow. The end of season. I mean, the end of volume nine. And I remember specifically origami coming to, like, you know, destroy something. That I guess is that uh, actual bomb itself. So. Wow, guess we finally. Wow, I guess JC Stack ne did not disappoint. Rushing. Wow, this is rushing at its best, guys. This is rushing at its best. JC Stab, you guys really did it this time. Because this episode, I didn't even need to reread the novel to tell this is there's so many scenes being cut out. It's so as clear as day. This is a, a quite a rushed episode, or should I say, a quite a rushed volume nine. Last week episode, I thought it, the nat the anatomy, um, like the makeups and stuff, is just a bit too early for that. But wow, 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 JC staff, are you guys really, really looking down on JA life? Well, I mean, I mean, two episodes. This is, I think, I think this is the first time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, because I, I don't remember, uh, I guess my memory is quite vague from volume 1 and, and 2 and 3. Remind me again, is this like the first time a novel that is only adapted to two episodes? Really? Is this the first time a novel being adapted to only two episodes? Is volume 9 really that worthless? JC Staff, crush, I need to question you guys that. Is volume 9 really that worthless? The moment when Shido gonna be interrogated by Ellen, there's more to it than just like, oh, I'm gonna kill all six of them. You don't tell me where the witches, and just go on like a sort of like a, a freeze frame for like. The majority of it, and then Ellen say, oh, I need to retreat. I need I must retreat. Your lucky day. It's your lucky day, Shido. That, yes, that did happen in the novel, but. There's more discussion to that too. Shido even inflicted some damage to Ellen too. Where is that? Oh my god. <sighs> JC Stab, you guys really outdone yourself in this one. You guys really make Day Life look like a pathetic show. But it's rushing too much scenes. There's so much scenes to be developed in, in Volume 9. Natsumi is supposed to have more this, more stuff happening to her in the, in the, res in the like, retro trick before she turned to a lollipop. Yes, I, I, I don't remember what, what, she, what she turned to, but she, I guess she turned to a lollipop. <laughs> yeah, she turned to a lollipop. How sneak of you, Natsumi. There's more to that scene. Oh my god. Well, at least Natsumi power got sealed in the end, and now it's part of Shido's harem now. Yay, Natsumi is now part of Shido's harem. And we get to move on to Origami Arc. But before I, I start like uh, getting right into that, yeah, the fight scene for the, the, the dropping of the debris from the space, three of the, uh, two of them, then the, the actual bomb itself. Well, the fighting scene is a bit too, uh, it's a bit rushed, but at least we get to see some of the spirits in action again. DM trying to do this because like, they're going to get back at West Coast and destroying the city she, he's currently in. Although they failed because of or, uh, because of the people living in the city, they forgot what those who are living in the city too. So Natsukotori trying to interfere, intervene by you know getting, uh, using her powers. Although she tried to use it once, she's already at her limit because like remember from season one that she has if she used too much of her power, she's gonna go berserk and stuff. Like her eyes go red and she's gonna go crazy. She's trying to prevent that again. So that's why Kotori been lately, lately even in season two, did not use much of her powers. Although in my, my judgment, she looks fine to me. So yeah, Kotori only used power like a full blast once, and then she asked the other to interve intervene. Although they're not in this full spirit form, of course, if they are, then they be they can take down that satellite quite easily. 
although Natsumi had to jump in because like she used a transformation power to like change it into a proper uh, into like some sort of uh, some sort of pop, uh, uh, piano sort of game thing and easily destroy it although Natsumi using Toka's center form uh, like easily shocks me because like she can change it if she can like, just like ch make anything to her, like a weapon change any weapon like available then she not to me it should be like one of the strongest spirits because she can ch turn anything she can turn disguise and turn any weapon into it although i don't think it's like in the full powers she can use it and just like defeat it like she did for the piano um so I like that she turned to so if not to me actually use a power properly she can actually be a quite a very powerful spirit although she have no combat skills of course but yeah you can see that the fact that she lost to Ellen because she had no combat skills but yeah she, not to me should, should be taken seriously if she uses power seriously for fighting because she can actually turn stuff into um, weak, weak stuff and she can defeat them easily so yeah not to me can be a va very valuable as a, a member for uh, Shiro's harem for Shiro's team and the fact that Shiro remained persistent to find Natsumi never changes does he? he never changes <sighs> So yeah, but and volume nine. I would say that this episode is quite rushed. There's, I can discuss more about it, but the more I discuss, the more I see the proper downside of it because it's too rushed. There's there's more scenes to it. Although Shido try, try to stay persistent to help out the people and the spirit came in to help him. And yes, Origami came coming in to like save save them is is a sign that Origami. Is, is going back to her usual self back in season one. The eyes, you can pretty much tell from the eyes that she's back the same origami from season one again. So yeah, for any origami fans, looking forward to the next episode because the origami are going to be legit though. And yes, I get to see my girl again. So maybe this is how JC style will go by. This is, maybe JC style will say, hmm, Natsumi Arc is not really giving us the attention that we deserve for the show. Maybe we should finish the or Natsumi Arc quickly and we can move on to origami or when that when that that's when the serious stuff kicks in i just hope that's your thinking way jc staff so basically you guys have seven episodes if i'm not wrong to to anim to adapt the origami arc so maybe they're gonna focus three episodes on volume 10 and four episodes on the dark origami arc the inverse origami because inverse origami that's like when the fun stuff kicks in Hopefully, just hopefully, that's how you guys have plan planned out to do so with JC staff. I'm really looking forward to Origami Arc because like, I just really do. Because it's gonna be a game changer and yes, I get to see my girl, not, uh, Kurumi again. And yes, I, I'm not gonna wear this uh, um, easy, um, less uh, um, visible shirt. I'm gonna wear that old shirt again. A less like a uh, revealing shirt i'm gonna wear the proper kurumi shirt because i have a feeling i get to see kurumi next week again nice. so yeah looking forward to our origami, origami the star origami arc next week and i'm really looking forward to see how origami being such a twisted person now since he joined the dem and her again gaining her powers become the angel origami yes i'm really looking forward to see angel origami so yeah what you guys think of uh, what, uh, uh, episode five too rushed too many cutscenes? Too annoyed by JC Star right now? I am. I'm gonna, I'll be a, I'll be a friend for it. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Subscribe to my channel for more reaction content. Give it a like if you enjoyed my reaction. And yes, make sure you guys uh, join my Discord group for daily lives so we can discuss episode five and and, and criticize it. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.